Hey guys, I'm sure by now you've seen a million declutter videos and all about Marie Kondo's Netflix show, where she goes into your home, sits down, and asks herself, does this item spark joy and add value to my life? And if it doesn't, she gets rid of it. Well, I tell you what, that means the thrift store is gonna be filled with some amazing finds, and here's how you can get them too. Thrift store donations have been through the roof and it might spark joy for you. So we're gonna head in. I'm gonna share with you some tips. I cannot wait for this. Let's do it. This is the rack of clothes just hitting the floor. So it's gonna be stuff that no one has seen yet. Some great scores in here. My first tip when thrifting is the power of three. Our local thrift store is Goodwill and this works in any Goodwill you go into. There are actually three types of Goodwills. The first is probably the one you see all the time, and that's your basic Goodwill where most items, especially clothing, but even housewares are priced anywhere from two to $10. There's also a second type of Goodwill called the GW, and this is a more boutique shopping experience. Everything is really curated, color coordinated, and it just looks super beautiful, like any high-end retail store. These are fewer between, but they're starting to add more and more of these, and the items are a little bit more, but the quality is often incredible. And the next type of Goodwill is an outlet. This shopping experience takes a little while longer, and it's a little more intense, but it is worth it. Everything is gonna come out in giant cars parts not sorted, and instead of paying by the item, you pay by the pound of clothes or shoes or housewares. You can get scores for 25 to 50 cents a garment if you're willing to dig. The best time to shop is during a weekday, about three hours after it opens. There's gonna be a lot less people and it's gonna be a lot easier to find what you need. If you can, block off a section of time to stay in the thrift store for at least three hours. Then you're gonna see a lot of the turnover of merchandise, which is when the best stuff comes out. If you're shopping at one of the outlet stores with the big carts, wait for at least three rounds of carts to come through. You're going to find the best items this way. I like to go for those really quality pieces that are easy to upcycle or name brands. These are some Eddie Bowers, almost brand new. So this is the exact plants you find at Ikea for $7. And here they are just 99 cents. These are super cute. I really like this one too. When you're in any thrift store, you should be married to your phone. Look up everything you're looking at to see how much you're really saving and how much it's worth. No way, a petunia pickle bottom diaper bag? You guys, this is five dollars. What? This dresser is nothing special right now, but it has amazing bones and it's solid wood, really nice. It just needs some new hardware, fresh coat of paint. That is gorgeous. These are gorgeous storage ottomans and there's two of them and they're just $3.99 each. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. When I'm shopping, I'm looking for name brands and quality materials. These suede boots I paid $1.39 for and they were easily over $100 brand new. And I love this black sweater. It's got this gorgeous detail on the back. It ties up. This entire outfit was legitimately like $3. And I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can find a color palette that's gonna look really good with your skin tone. I should have discovered this way long ago, but I recently just did. It's free, it's easy, and then when you're shopping, you can be drawn to things that are actually gonna flatter you, especially if you don't have time to try it on in the store. This week, some of my best scores came from the outlet. All of these items are 25 to 50 cents because I'm paying just $1.39 a pound. I found this gorgeous Nike pullover. This is brand new. A lot of the stuff in those bins even are new with tags. Especially right now, everybody's donating stuff. You guys, this is all of the joy. <laughs> My grand total for all of these items was under 20 bucks. I am not kidding. Retail would be at least 400. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you soon. Frugal sisters unite. We are sparking joy. One thrift store trip at a time. <laughs> Bye guys. Petunia pickle bottom bags retail for 150 to 180 dollars online. I can easily sell this and make a profit. You guys, it's a bop it. This is bringing back so many memories. Wait, I think I found it. The perfect thing. Yeah.